Every time I see a light version of a flagship phone, I always ask myself where the budget cuts were made and how that impacts the overall performance of the phone. Is the phone still a good choice to buy? In my time of working in sales promotion for HTC, I learned that the budget cuts are most often made on features that the average user is not really paying attention to. For example, processing power and battery. And that can quickly transform a phone with a flagship name to a barely usable phone. So let's see what are the differences between Huawei P10 and Huawei P10 Lite. Huawei P10 has a dual like a camera with optical image stabilization, while the P10 Lite only has a 12 megapixel camera with only electronic image stabilization. Also, P10 can do 2K video, while P10 Lite can only do full HD. The P10 Lite also has a weaker processor and you can only get it as 32 gigabyte version. The fingerprint sensor on the P10 is front mounted and on the P10 Lite it's rear mounted. There's also a slight difference in the battery, not so much in the size of the battery as it is in the technology of the battery. You can get a Huawei P10 for about 600 euros and P10 Lite is usually almost exactly half the price. While looking at the specs, we only get one side of the picture. How does this phone perform in real life? The P10 Lite looks a lot like the P10, apart from the fact that the fingerprint sensor is rear mounted. Processing power is where you first notice the budget cuts. Navigating through the phone is not as smooth and some more processor hungry apps might need more time to load or are a little bit laggy. Still, nothing the average user would be bothered about. The battery life was also holding on surprisingly well. It lasted me through the day with ease. Also, when I was not using the phone, it died on me only on the fourth day. Let's check some camera samples. Sadly, I do not have the full P10 version anymore, so I could not do some direct comparisons. But comparing it with iPhone 7, I can see some pretty decent and very usable results. Especially in natural light, it produces beautiful photos. Now you can hear how the different sounds sound like from the iPhone and also from the Huawei P10 Lite. You can also see a beautiful sunset behind me and how they cope with a bright light coming from my behind and um, if you can actually see something of me or if I'm completely black. If we walk a little bit, come walk with me, walk with me. Let's see how the stabilization goes. You can see if it's shaky, if it's not shaky. Then we can do a pan and see if they um, get some jerky pan movements. Faster. The other way faster. <laughs> and that is how the camera looks like. So who would I recommend this phone to? To somebody who has a very limited budget and likes to take many photos. Somebody who will not be bothered by a slower responsiveness of the phone. Your mother, for example. Or your 11-year-old daughter who desperately needs a new phone. The P10 Lite provides a great phone for money at cost. I have to say Huawei is one of those brands that can make quite usable phones also with a limited budget. Good job! Now if you want to see any more of my videos, you can check out this one right here. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're super awesome, there's also a bell that gives you a notifications every time I post a new video. I'm not on a regular schedule yet, so my videos just pop up whenever I can find the time to make them. So be sure to have notifications on so you are one of the first persons who comes here and comments and watches my videos and comments on them. And I love your notification squad. Ah I will see you soon. Bye.